the GeForce Now Ultimate tier is set to stream games at 240Hz at 1080p and 120Hz at 4K. The same with Ultra Wide. Now you would have thought the bitrate to pull this feed off would be astronomical. What's interesting is that the minimum requirements to run these streams are pretty low. 35 megabits per second for 240Hz at 1080p and 45 megabits per second for 120Hz at 4K. Well, let's put this to the test. Now before we get started, here's a disclaimer that I do have gigabit internet and I'm on ethernet. Having a wired connection almost guarantees a more stable connection, which will help out your bitrate. We're first going to start at 1080p with a couple of really fast paced games. So I'm going to set the bitrate to 35 megabits per second max at 1080p and 240 FPS in the settings. We're going to start with Fortnite and we'll turn the network stats on. Now I did have trouble getting to 240 FPS, but I might have gotten older hardware in this session. For more information with that, check out the video above. Now as I play the game, note the network stats. Under the bandwidth section, check out the total use stat. This shouldn't go over your set bitrate, so in our case, it should never go over 35 megabits per second. Now how does the game look and perform at this setting? I'm having zero problems whatsoever. The bandwidth stays below my custom limit, and I can still play well. No fuzzy picture, no skipping, nothing like that. Now let's try Warframe, a super fast paced game that can easily get well over 240 FPS on 1080p. The total used again is staying well below 35 megabits per second, while my gameplay is so quick and satisfying. After playing an hour of the new war campaign I'm trying to finish up, I totally forgot I was playing on GeForce Now. That's how smooth it was. How about the most played game on Steam, CSGO? Now CSGO can easily get well past 300 FPS on the 4080 on most maps. Bandwidth stayed in the mid-20s the majority of the time and headshot galore. Very impressive on the 240Hz front. Now let's try the minimal internet requirements for 4K. Now I changed the settings to 4K resolution and increased the bitrate to the minimum of 45 this time. For my first 4K game, I'm going to try Far Cry 5 for no particular reason. Be aware that I'm using the GeForce Now recommended graphics quality settings for every game. The visuals look good, but I'm having troubles hitting a constant 120 FPS. Now what's really interesting is that the bandwidth never even touched 40 megabits per second. Cool. How about good old Fortnite again? Any problem? No. Zero issues. 120 FPS was not a problem either. And the same thing goes for Genshin Impact. Now even though the game doesn't go higher than 60 FPS for now, it's nice to know that you don't need a ton of bandwidth to play on the ultimate tier. Well done. Now I admit that I had my doubts whether the minimum internet bitrate requirements were going to cut it. Not only were they enough, but I really didn't see the video quality diminish in the stream. It's impressive. Well done Nvidia. Now those who have a lower bandwidth internet or even an internet cap, you guys can breathe a bit easier now. So if you like this overview of the minimum internet requirements for the GeForce Now Ultimate tier, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle. This is the Black Knight, every other platform needs to stream this well.